So we have a graph here of the function f of x. And I'm telling you right now that f of x is going to be an exponential function. It looks like one, but it's even nicer when someone tells you that. And our goal in this video is to figure out at what x value, so when, when does f of x, so at what, f, at what x value is f of x going to be equal to negative 1 25th? And you might be tempted to just eyeball it over here, but when, when f of x is negative 1 25th, that's like right below the x-axis. So if I, tried to, if I tried to eyeball it, it would be very difficult. It's very difficult to tell what value that is. It might be at 3, it might be at 4. I am not sure. So instead of, actually it looks like, well, maybe, three, well, I don't want to I just eyeball it, just guess it. Instead, I'm going to actually find an expression that defines f of x because they've given us some information here, and then I can just solve for x. So let's do that. Well, since we know that f of x is an exponential function, we know it's going to take the form f of x is equal to our initial value a times our common ratio r to the x power. Well, the initial value is straightforward enough. That's going to be the, the value that the function takes on when x is equal to 0. And you can even see it here. If x is equal to 0, the r to the x would just be 1. And so f of 0 will just be equal to a. And so what is f of 0? Well, when x is equal to 0, this essentially we're saying where does it intersect, where does it intersect the y-axis, we see f of 0 is negative 25. So a is going to be negative 25. Negative 25. When x is 0, the r to the x is just 1. So f of 0 is going to be negative 25. We see that right over there. Now to figure out the common ratio, there's a couple of ways you could think about it. The common ratio is the ratio between uh, two, successive, uh, two successive values that are separated by 1. What do I mean by that? Well, you could view it as the ratio between f of 1 and f of 0. That's going to be the common ratio. Or the ratio between f of 2 and f of 1. That is going to be the common ratio. Well, lucky for us, we know f of 0 is negative 25. And we know that f of 1, f of 1, x is equal to 1, y, or f of x, or f of 1 is equal to negative 5. Negative 5. And so just like that, we're able to figure out that our common ratio r is negative 5 over negative 25, which is the same thing as 1 fifth. Divide a negative by a negative, you get a positive. So you're going to 5 over 25, which is 1 fifth, which is 1 fifth. So now we can write, we can write an expression that defines f of x. f of x is going to be equal to negative 25 times, times 1 fifth to the x power. And so let's go back to our question. When is this going to be equal to negative 1 25th? So when does this equal to negative 1 25th? Well, let's just set them equal to each other. So let, there's a siren outside. I don't know if you hear it. So negative, I'll power through. All right, negative. So let's see, what, at what x value does this expression equal negative 1 25th? Let's see, we can uh, multiply, well actually, we want to solve for x. So let's see, let's divide both sides by negative 25. And so we are going to get 1 fifth to the x power is equal to, if we divide both sides by negative 25, this negative 25 is going to go away. And on the right hand side, we're going to have, divided negative by negative is going to be positive. It's going to be 1 over 625. We're going to be 1 over 625. And 1 fifth to the x power, this is the same thing as 1 to the x power over 5 to the x power is equal to, is equal to 1 over 625. 1 over 625. Well, 1 to the x power is just going to be equal to, is just going to be equal to 1. So we could really, it doesn't matter that we have this to the x power over here. And so we can see, I, I thought I was erasing that with a black color. There you go. That's a black color right over there. So we can see that 5 to the x power needs to be equal to 625. So let me write that over here. 5, whoops, didn't change my color. 5 to the x power needs to be equal to 625. 
and 25. Now, the best way I could think of doing this is let's just think about our powers of five. So five to the first power is five. Five squared is 25. Five to the third is 125. Five to the fourth, we'll multiply that by five, you're gonna get 625. So x is going to be four. It is going to be four, because five to the fourth power is 625. So we can now say that f of four, f of four is equal to, is equal to negative 1 25th is equal to negative 1 25th. And once again, you can verify that. You can verify that right over here. 1 5th to, 1 5th to the fourth power is going to be 1 over 625. 25, negative 25 over positive 625 is going to be negative 1 25th. So hopefully that clears things up a little bit.